What's up guys, Sicktastic Guy here from Tiny TV. Just wanted to give a quick rundown of this X-Belt deal. Uh, been talking with a lot of people in the group. They've been having a lot of trouble with this and having Z-Wobble. And you can see like these are set free of course. They're not tied down on mine. Pretty much stock. But the problem is is that uh, people are getting these tensioners. But they're putting all the force on this rod. When it bends, when you tighten it, it bends it this way. That's bad. That's not what you want. You want to get yourself one of these tensioners where it has these screws. All right, right here. So you can see, like, the screw. Let me see if I can get it best. Well, in there, right there, you can see that's actually the X rod. That screw lines up with the X rod. And as I screw in, it pulls this white out and puts all the pressure on the X rod. None on the Z because that's that's bad. That's how you get the, the bends and next thing you know they're not straight at all. You can see this side's just stock, you know, the motor and everything, you know. I made sure that it was pretty straight by looking that way. You can see that, you know, they, they this belt channel lines up pretty good. Otherwise adjust your little grub screws here. There's a grub screw there, there's another one too. You know, adjust those a little bit. I like to uh, do this one first, you can see on the flat edge, you know, and then this one. Yeah, it seems, uh, you know, just want to keep it pretty much symmetrical as possible, you know, with the actual rod in the middle of it. But yeah, you go across, you can see that the belt is pretty freaking tight right now. Um, can you hear that wobble, you know, the real tightness, the twang. You know, I did have an old setup. This screw is actually for nothing. It's just to take that screw out, you have to take out this, and I'm not doing that. So I kind of just left it in there, put the nut back on the other side. It's not bothering anything. You can see, actually, the inside right here, that's part of the tensioner. Well, oh, there you go. You kind of see it right there and up here. That's just to guide it into place, you know, and, and it actually holds pretty good. So... Just make sure you put all your force, if you're going to be tensioning the belt, all your force on the X rods. You know, don't bend up your Z rods, you know, because it'd be horrible. Don't get that style that comes out here, the tensioner. Seems real basic and easy, and oh, you can do that, you know, real fast. Don't get that one, because that doesn't really come with a good way to tension it on the Z rods, or the X rods, I mean. And also, uh you can't move your printer head as far over so you actually lose a little bit of your bed I'd say about that much which which sucks you know it's not much but it still sucks so make sure you get this kind of style alright alright guys that's it for a little tip on the belt just want to give you a quick pointer on well, what I used in the back though real fast you can see yeah I went with that one see so uh, it was actually really tight right in here uh, and on this side to get it over this little bearing holder it was really tight so I ended up uh, sanding it and it was taking forever and so I actually just heated up a flathead screwdriver and pressed against it you know a little bit on each side and measured it back up and it, it actually fit pretty good lined up with the screw holes the screw holes are actually the important thing not really how well it fits over the bearing holder so yeah you see not much there um you know of course you got the belt loop and then this nut right here well let me try to find a good angle kind of almost okay well there's three nuts one two three man i need a better camera and there we go well this one the inner one i actually put a washer I figured it kind of closes the gap for this belt so it won't pop out, which I haven't experienced any problem anyway. But I did the same thing on there, used all six holes, put screws in each one, because why not? You know, but only two of them have washers, you know, just small washers to make it work out. Everything seems good on that. Uh, the Z rods actually wobble back and forth, left and right, since I've done it, which is a clear indication that. Uh, there's no tension on them anymore from the belt being tightened down. So, keep that in mind, guys. Alright, we'll shoot another video sooner or later. Sick-tastic guy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, later.